Tambora with EXP Realty and we are here today at the 15th annual Denver Food and Wine Festival. We get an opportunity to meet with some of the very best chefs in the state of Colorado. So we get to meet with Marta, hear a little bit about her story, how she came here from Italy to Colorado and we'll show you some of the other restaurants that have helped Colorado to be such a wonderful, colorful, eclectic and very cultural place to live. I've heard so much about you and your wonderful restaurant and all the support that you've given to this festival. I would love to hear a little bit about your story. Well, I was born and grew up in Rome, Italy, and I used to work with the owner of Liberati in Rome for 10 years, mm -hmm. and one day just decided to leave Italy and come to the States, and he asked yeah. me to come with him. We opened Liberati, trying to use traditional Italian ingredients mm -hmm. in all our dishes. There's a little bit for everybody, but we try to maintain anyway our flavors, like yeah. traditional flavors, what we don't find here, we import from Italy or we make by ourselves. Uh, we do our homemade pasta, our homemade meatballs with my mom recipe. Your mom's recipe? So if it's not good, it's my mom's fault. It's your mom's fault. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> My dad is a chef, so I grew up in a kitchen. Okay. And these are the flavor that I grew up with. So you always knew you wanted to be a chef because you... Not really. No? Uh, I tried to make another career. I studied biology at the university. Okay. But my dad gave me as a gift for my 21st year old birthday a uh, pastry school. So I started as a okay. pastry chef because it was the only thing that he wasn't able to do, dessert. Uh -huh. And I was pretty good with that. After the pastry school, I said, okay, you know what? DNA is DNA. There's nothing. You just loved it. Yeah. You just had a passion for it. What advice do you have for young chefs or just young entrepreneurs that think they want to go into the culinary Beef world? Because it's a really hard work. And sometimes you just think that you can't make it, but it's not true. If you yeah. got a real passion, you can survive to the high temperatures, super long shape, cuts, burn, and all this stuff. Yeah. And that's how you feel that it's your love. And for the girls that want to be inside this world, yeah. be more patient. Yeah. But if you're passionate, yeah. everybody sees that and everybody understands that you can make it. You guys have been pretty involved in some of the different parts of this festival, and this is the 15th yep. year in Colorado. There are 40 restaurants here, and you're one of the very few in this VIP tent. Can you yep. tell us a little bit about what uh, you have done? So we are pretty proud to be basically the anchor of the entire event, because okay. we host first night with dinner under the start of Liberati. We host 150 people with five restaurants. Mm -hmm. It was super funny, beautiful, yeah. I loved it. And we're going to close the event tomorrow morning with rice and dine brunch. Today we are here at the VIP tent for the brand tasting and I'm super, super lucky to be here. So where is your restaurant? It's located in 24th and Champa. Okay. It's called Liberati Brewery and Restaurant because we actually brew our beers in a house. Mm -hmm. And it's a particular style of beer. It's called Anno Beer. Mm -hmm. So it's an hybrid between wine and beer. Oh, so people need to go yeah. try you your meatballs. You can find some Liberati beers around town yeah. right now. But basically, if you want to taste the different beers, yeah, you should come to Liberati yeah. and have meatballs and a beer. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. That was so wonderful. Thank Your you. mama makes wonderful meatballs. I'll let her know. I'm yes. proud. And I'm very excited to come visit your restaurant. Looking forward to see you there. As you can see, the 40 restaurants that won a spot to be here and featured at the Denver Food and Wine Festival did not disappoint. It was wonderful to get to taste all of the food, to get to meet some of the very famous VIP chefs. Marta was amazing. I love her story. You guys didn't get a chance this year to come down to the Denver Food and Wine Festival. Make sure next summer you put it on your list of things to do. It's a do not miss. Thank you for tuning in to my episode of the American Dream TV show, and we will see you next time.